Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. U.S. Air Force's Central Command has a new leader. Lieutenant General John Hesterman III took command of U.S. AFSENT, an organization that works closely with its counterparts in Southwest Asia to ensure the stability of the region. Whether serving in a combat or humanitarian role, U.S. AFSENT is an integral part of the nation's air power in joint and combined military and humanitarian operations. For more on this story, visit AFLINK. Before starting their junior year at the Air Force Academy, cadets have the opportunity to see a glimpse of what it is like in a deployed setting. Staff Sergeant David Meade takes us to Southwest Asia for the story. Cadets from the United States Air Force Academy recently visited the 380th Air Expeditionary Wing to get a taste of what the active duty life is like during a program called Air Force Ops. I think for us it's been a really great opportunity to see the mission actually being done. Um, seeing like the, the, the training, the lessons learned at the academy and how it plays out over here. Um, and it's something I think a lot of the cadets will talk about is uh, getting to see what the enlisted force really does. During their visit, the cadets visited multiple groups around the base, including mission support, medical, maintenance, and many flying squadrons. The experience gave the cadets valuable insight into their future as Air Force officers. You know, the academy by nature is a little bit officer heavy, and, but to get out, and there's a lot of joy to jobs we've seen that as an officer I won't be able to, to actually do, but it's been really cool to get an appreciation for what people are doing, uh, you know, 12 hour shifts here, uh, you know, on this heat every single day. Reporting from Southwest Asia, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant David Mead. Red Horse Airmen from the 379th Air Expeditionary Wing work together to build a new facility which will help support the warfighter mission downrange. Staff Sergeant Michael Weitz tells us about their project. The 379th Air Expeditionary Wing is always looking for ways to improve their mission and mission support capabilities. To this end, leadership has enlisted the help of the 557th Expeditionary Red Horse Squadron to design and build the new Contingency Aeromedical Staging Facility, or CASIF. Uh, this facility is required to uh, support 20 ambulatory patients. For construction needs at a deployed location, Red Horse is essentially a one-stop shop, employing design teams, engineers, and project managers in-house. Because of these capabilities, Red Horse also accomplishes a task that outside contractors cannot, saving the Air Force money. Once construction is completed, the CASIF will give the 379th yet another tool to help support the warfighter downrange. Reporting from Southwest Asia, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Weix. Having passion for a hobby may open doors to an unexpected future. Airman First Class Kelly Greenwell introduces us to a couple at Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona, who are following their dreams. Reserve airmen often dedicate themselves to full-time schooling or civilian work outside of the military community. Two reservists from the 943rd Rescue Group at Davis Monthan Air Force Base are combining their educational and military experiences to brew up a business. Greenfeet Brewing is something that we are really passionate about and we're doing it for us but we are also doing it for the rescue community and the military community. After convincing his wife that opening a brewery was a good idea, Master Sergeant Scott Peterson got down to the details of naming so it. The name of the brewery kind of reflects where I've been in my military career for the last, uh, I don't know, 15, 16 years in the reserves, flying in the combat rescue community. The green feet is a symbol of combat rescue and it felt natural to kind of tie my love and passion for beer in with my passion for flying in the rescue community. So whether it's aircraft or craft brews, Master Sergeant Peterson pours passion into everything he does. Airman First Class Kelly Greenwell, Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona. To see more Air Force Broadcasting Service products, follow us on Twitter at Air Force TV. For more Air Force news, visit our official website, AFLINK. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service at Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Thanks for watching.